Hello everybody and welcome back. I am the Sovereign and this is my court. If this is your first time in attendance, hello, please consider hitting the subscribe button before you leave our kingdom. Yes, I am wearing the crown of shade. Welcome to another episode of Directors Gone Wild. If you are following me on Instagram, if you are following me on Twitter, you guys are well aware of the bits of tea and hints that I have been dropping and I told everyone on Twitter that I was bringing the crown of shade out of its box because we need to discuss Miss Universe Mexico. If you are not aware of the drama, you guys know that I will bring you the tea and I do have receipts and thank you to everyone in the Discord kingdom all over social media who have been dumping information on me for the past 24 hours of what's going on. Shout out to Lee on Instagram. Hey Lee, how you doing? Lee's also in the kingdom by the way. But shout out to Lee for being the first person to send this video to me with subtitles and everything to my absolute shock, horror, and disgust. But Lee, you are amazing and thank you so, so much on behalf of me and the rest of the court. And I'm here, I am ready to ride for the Mexican Queens because you guys, this is so, you'll see, you will see. Let's, let's get started. Lupita Jones, she is the national director for Miss Universe Mexico. She is also a former Miss Universe herself. She was in fact the first crowned Miss Universe Mexico ever in 1991. She bought the organization for Miss Universe Mexico in 1994 and has been running the organization and the pageant ever since. Now there have been some whisperings, some mumblings about Lupita through the years saying that, um. She was not being supportive of her queens, that she was a very heavy handed director, very controlling. She wanted things to be done her way. Uh, other queens have spoken out about Lupita through the years. So this it's not like this is coming out of nowhere. And I believe that the Mexican fans of the competition have been well aware of Lupita and what has been said about her through the years, but it's just now coming to the forefront of the Miss Universe uh, pageant community for good reason. So I've said it before, but I need it to be known throughout my court that though I do critique the girls on a performance capacity, on a competitor capacity, I love the queens and my loyalty comes to the queens first. As far as the ranking goes in my head, the queens come first. The queens are here, then the fans, then the organizations. And the reason I have it in my head that way is because number one, the queens only get to reign for a year. They put in a lot of work and this is something that they strive for. They really want this. So I feel like at me as a fan, my loyalty should go to the queens who strive and do give us a really good show throughout all of these years. Most of the queens are fans themselves. So the queens come first and then of course the fans. And lastly being the organizations because the organizations, though I do respect them and love them too, they're the ones that holds all the power. Now, directors. I've spoken about directors before. When I did the first video, it was Valeria Ayos. Her director went off the wall, off the handle and started trashing her publicly. Valeria Aos caught COVID-19 by the way, which is why she didn't compete Miss Universe Columbia. I have spoken about directors before and their penchant for being heavy handed. Some directors get it in their heads as if they are the rulers. They are the ultimate authority. Everything and every decision should be made and revolves around them. Everything goes through them. Some directors do tend to be very heavy handed. And if you are like me and you pay attention to even the Miss Universes, when Pia, when I watched interviews of Pia speaking about her experience, she said that she had to actually like really beg and plead and try her best for her director to even allow her to wear the color blue. Most of the girls don't really get to make decisions even when it comes to their gowns, which I know I need to do a video about that. Directors and companies and organizations and designers really shouldn't be making gowns that don't suit the queens. It's almost like they're making a gown and they're forcing the queen in the gown and not making a gown for the queen. I know I need to talk about that. But the thing is that the directors do, a lot of them do tend to be very overbearing. And Lupita, I think, is one of those very heavy handed directors. Now, I typically don't say much about misbehaving people within the pageant community unless it's absolutely needed. I mean, I only really come out in force wearing the crown of shade if you done did something so wrong. And I gotta be a little bit honest that yes, I got a bit of an attitude today. I got a little bit of an attitude today. There are some jalapenos in my salsa today. I'm a bit spicy. I don't come on YouTube, especially wearing the crown of shade for no reason. And I don't really like to say much about 
the queens negatively. I mean, I critique them performance wise, but I, I don't come out against queens and Lupita is a former queen, but, but, Lupita has way overstepped the line. And before I even get into the thorough dragging of this person, let me show you guys the clips that I have been seeing and the rest of you have been seeing. Let's catch everybody up so we're all on the same level playing field before I initiate the thorough dragging of Lupita Jones. Here you go. Sofía llegaba desgarrándose las venas, arrastrada, sin bañarse a la oficina, en depresión total. Vivía en depresión total todo el tiempo sintiéndose poca cosa. Es una mujer manipuladora, fría, calculadora. Lo único que quiere es venir y aprovechar esta última oportunidad de mi plataforma para venir a pararse como la gran reina, a recibir el reflector y el aplauso. Perdón, no se lo voy a dar, porque yo sé de dónde vienen todas. ¿Y de qué pie cogea? Puta, les impactaría de mí. Desde la drogadicta, la alcohólica, ta, 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 ta. La golpa. Ah, bueno. Muchas historias. Y de todas tengo para hablar, ¿eh? De todas. Yo sé quién es Sofía Aragón. Cuando dejé de seguirla, muchos empezaron, ¿por qué no la sigues? ¿Y por qué la bloqueaste? ¿Y por qué? Porque sé quién es. Porque a mí no me va a vender sus cuentos baratos de frases encontradas en Google. Porque yo no necesito estar siguiendo una persona que sé cómo es. Una persona tan falsa, tan ingrata, tan doble cara tan porque por mucho que ahora se venda como la gran diosa yo sé de dónde viene yo sé de qué pie cojea pasan mil anécdotas dentro de, de la competencia en donde todas las chavas estaban en contra de ella en fin mil cosas en la convivencia de la competencia ¿no? Y ella siempre como víctima, es que nadie me quiere, y es que nadie, y es que yo trato de ser buena y tal. Pero pues, pues nadie la soportaba, la verdad. Como participante, no tiene la belleza, esa era la verdad. Eh, yo invertí en Sofía para poder operarle la nariz, conseguí cómo arreglarle los dientes, hacerle liposucción porque por mucho que ahora se venda como la gran do you see that do you see the audacity the gall the absolute hubris to speak this way of any crowned queen any crowned queen much less one of, like she's top three okay Sofia the current queen of Mexico is top three in Miss Universe and I do believe Mexico takes a lot of pride in her the absolute audacity to be speaking this way publicly as a director as a director I have said this before but let's just let's I feel like it needs to be said it needs to be said because directors have largely been allowed to run rampant throughout pageant community for years because there's been there's no way to really hold them accountable there's no way to check a director like a lot of people reach out to the Miss Universe organization and they think they're like mama Paula Paula Shugart should be the one intervening and stopping these things and you know what I have to hand it to mama you know Paula Shugart over there who largely keeps her nose out of other people's business she is not a heavy-handed director Director. She does not forcibly make other countries run their franchises a certain way. And I kind of have to respect her for keeping her nose out of, you know, people's stuff. She largely keeps her hands off of things. And I also have to give her props for keeping the Miss Universes happy because all of the Miss Universes have largely been very well taken care of and you know they've never come out and been unhappy or anything. Honestly Paul Shugart is the epitome of what a director should be and I don't understand why these national directors aren't taking notes from Paula doing her job the way it's supposed to be done. But 
these directors have largely been able to run wild because there's no one really to put them in check. There's no one really, besides us fans over here on social media, all we can really do is send a couple comments. These directors are just off the wall and they, they feel like they can do whatever they want, right? That's how the world used to be. That's how the world used to be until, you know, I got on my YouTube channel and I don't mind being the person that says what needs to be said because you're not gonna be over here mistreating the queens that I love and love to watch. This is my Super Bowl. Miss Universe and the pageant, this is my World Cup. This is my sport. And what you're not gonna be over here doing is mistreating the competitors who put their lives and money and everything on the line to go after their dreams, and then you're gonna treat them like trash. Not in my world, not since I got a YouTube channel. I'm sorry, the, the, the days of directors and people getting to mistreat pageant girls, mistreat the pageant organization, like running rampant and doing these things, those days are gone. I will be the person, I'll be the bad guy on YouTube, I don't care, but I don't feel like I'm the bad guy here, quite honestly. Honestly, Lupita is. I'm already getting mad. So let me let me explain the place of a director because people aren't paying attention. Okay? The place of the director is the background. The background. You belong in the background. I feel like Lupita thinks that she is the mother of dragons. She thinks she's the head honcho woman in charge. That's not you. You're not the queen. You're the hand of the queen. You don't sit on the throne. You serve the throne. And this is very easily demonstrated by Lupita's own words when she's over here saying, my platform, on my platform. Lupita, you have no platform. You have no platform. You are clawing at the throne of Miss Universe Mexico to remain relevant. That's it. You have no platform. I have a platform. This is my platform. The only queen that rules over here is me. And though I use my platform to uplift other women and talk wonderful things about queens that I love, this is still my platform. Lupita seems very upset and a little bit insecure the fact that if she doesn't have the directorship of, of Miss Universe Mexico, that she will disappear into the sea of irrelevancy, which quite honestly at this point, she deserves. Directors are the hand of the queen. You are the right hand of the queen. You are serving the throne, but you are not supposed to be the one ultimately in power, making all, you're not supposed to be treating the queens as if they are subservient to you. You are their protector. You are their provider. You do what you can to keep everything bad and negative away from these women. A lot, most of these women coming in to sit on their thrones, because they're only there for a year, they don't really have have experience in reigning and ruling. They don't know what's coming for them. It is your job to protect them and guide them through their years of reign. And Lupita has, she's letting this power go to her head as if she's been the one sitting on the throne the whole time. And it really, it upsets me to see an actual director who's supposed to be protecting the queens, being the one subjecting the queens to harm. Lupita's over here talk, <sighs> talking bad about Sophia's mental health. Regardless of if this is true or not, if this is true, that woman's going through something and the reason she's coming to you is because you're supposed to be her protector. You're supposed to be the one that she comes to when she's having those feelings of depression or when she's not being taken care of. That's your job to help her. And you're putting her on blast because of her her own mental instability. You, like. Even I understand how, how tough it is and hard it is to compete, much less actually reign in, you know, a national capacity or actually be in Miss Universe. Like, how are you treating her this way? How are you putting her on blast like this? That's disgusting. And yes, I'm putting Lupita in her place because she, she clearly doesn't know her place. Lupita doesn't, Lupita, you don't know your place. Get off the throne, Lupita. It's not your throne. It's not for you. And if you can't serve the queen the way you're supposed to, give up the job, which is what I'm seeing a lot of Mexican fans are like, she needs to give it up. Yes, she does. You're terrible. And it seems like what Lupita really wants is power. What she wants is acknowledgements. She wants to hang on to relevancy. Go get your own platform. Go get your own platform. I have mine. That's why I'm told I have no problem defending another queen's throne because I have my own. I have no need to take someone else's throne when I have my own. Lupita, go get your own. It, because the one that you're hanging on to is not yours. And you're disgracing yourself. You're the audacity of a actual Miss Universe to go this far, to publicly go this far. And then she's talking about, oh, I know all of the girls past. I know everything. You're supposed to be the keeper of secrets, Lupita. What are you doing? You are the protector of the queen, you traitor. You don't tell this, like, I, and this is something I love about having this platform. I am beholden to no one. 
No one has control over me. There is no one that has any impact on my platform other than me. That's why I'm the sovereign. Every decision is made and goes through me and I can say whatever I want. Doesn't matter what anyone has to say about it. That's why I like being able to do this. But even like even the queens know that I am loyal to them. Not because I have to, but, but because I choose to be and because I feel like they deserve that bit of loyalty. I have heard and been told a lot of things. A lot of things. I have known what certain designers made for girls long before even the girls knew their dresses. I have known the colors of dresses. Girls have asked me about their choices or designs or what they should do about certain things and I've never said anything. I've never said a word. I would never, okay? I of course I talk about the girls in a performance capacity, but I'm not over here leaking what their dresses are like or what their secret performance is like or whatever they're telling me in my Instagram DMs. I like chit chatting with the girls, but the girls know that I'm loyal and I'm not gonna say a word. Why is it that I'm sitting on my YouTube channel and I have more respect for these girls than some of these directors do? Why? I would never. I would never betray the confidence or trust or secrets that certain people, whether it be directors, fans, or queens, relay to me in confidence, in friendship, in you know their moments of insecurity. I would never do that. And I, I think it's, it's really gross that Lupita would sink to this level, but we have even more to get to because then Lupita's over here saying that she's aware of queens that have addiction issues, that do nefarious things behind the, behind the scenes or whatever. And I'm sitting here like, Lupita, I know maybe you thinking you're making the queens look bad or you're making Sophia look bad, but I'm sitting here looking at you as a director like, are these the type of women that you have been sending to Miss Universe? Lupita, I think you didn't know that you just outed yourself. Have you been see sending these type of women whom you yourself don't think are worthy to the Miss Universe organization? Do you know how dumb you made yourself look? Do you know what you look like right now? You look incompetent. And this is not me saying that anyone who's gone through any type of addiction or any type of, you know, dark history you may have isn't worthy of wearing a crown, but Lupita's saying it as if she's sending women that were currently struggling with those things onto Miss Universe, which should not be happening. Now, if you're a type of woman who overcame something dark, if you overcame an addiction or something and you are better and you are in your you know most fit capacity, then sure you can go on to compete in a Miss Universe or any type of organization's competition. But I would definitely argue that a woman that is currently struggling with any type of crisis, be it a uh, mental instability or any type of addiction, is not well enough or fit enough to be competing in a stressful environment. And you shouldn't be pushing them through the way that you have. Part of the Miss Universe competition is about confidence, it's about being fit and well, it's about being a role model and having a queen struggling with any type of addiction going into a Miss Universe competition is a liability, not just to herself, putting like someone who's dealing with any type of stress, putting them in a more stressful environment could break them and having something like that come out during her reign would hurt the organization, whether it be the Miss Universe organization or just the Miss Mexico organization, it's not good for anyone. So so you've been putting everybody in jeopardy and you're screaming it from the mountaintops as if it's something, you're screaming it from the mountaintops while talking and speaking to the incoming competitors vying for the crown that you are dragging through the mud. I can't. I, can't, I feel so bad for the girls of Miss Universe Mexico to be sitting in the face of the, women who, the woman who's supposed to be your protector if you get the crown. This is the woman that's supposed to be on your side the woman that's supposed to have your back, to see her in front of you, damn they're blackmailing you, saying, oh, I know everything about all the queens in the past. Like, girl, if you won't say this in front of an entire audience, I don't want you to be my director. I don't want her, you talk, if you can't keep a secret, I don't want you behind my back. I don't want you to be my right hand. Like, you are untrustworthy. I could not imagine what it was like to sit in those chairs as an incoming competitor, looking at the person that's supposed to have your back, trash talking the current queen, knowing that you're vying to take that queen's place. She's trash talking Sophia to the women that are trying to take Sophia's place. What are you doing? And then you're basically telling the other competitors that not only did you not help Sophia, you're willing to trash her and laugh at her in her most vulnerable state. I, a Miss Universe is doing this. A Miss Universe is doing this. Woman. As well 
and good as I am with my very well established vocabulary, I struggle to find the words to describe the type of person I think you are. That is disgusting, deplorable, like humiliating behavior. And I, <laughs> I can't imagine these, what these poor women have been going through even for the few months that they're vying for the title, much less the years and the queens that have passed through your hands. I mean, Lupita's up here talking about the surgeries that she allegedly paid for for Sophia, and regardless of if this is true or not, what are you saying? Close your mouth, Lupita. Close your mouth. I can't believe that I'm the one. I'm a, the, the girl on YouTube, okay? The sovereign on YouTube is the one person who has more loyalty to these queens than anyone else. I have dragged people before. Those of you who follow me on Instagram, you saw when I dragged that one person who wanted to post a racist, uh, racist post about Miss Mississippi that was crowned Miss USA. I put that on my Instagram in a heartbeat because you can disagree with the girls in a competitor sense or whatever if you have a problem with their performance i do that all the time but what you what i'm not going to let you do is be racist towards a miss usa no i'm not but what you guys didn't see is that i never dragged the queens who liked that racist post i never did but i damn well know who liked the post i do have the screenshots of the queens who liked the post but i didn't say anything I was like, you know what? The competition's over. She's she's not vying for Miss USA. What's the point? I'm not gonna start any mess because what's the point? I'm not trying to, to drag a queen. She knows who she is. And she knows she doesn't even have the right to like that post given the walk that she gave on stage. But she knows who she is. But you didn't see me drag any of the queens even though it would have been warranted. I'm like, let it go. I don't go there lightly. And yet here's Lupita dragging her own queen who did very well at Miss Universe and she should be very proud, but you wanna embarrass Sophia. And I did see the screenshot that seemed very well orchestrated, Lupita, of all of the queens vying for the Miss Universe Mexico crown suddenly going live all at the same time, the same time that Sophia had announced that she was going to do an IG live discussing the issues. Because that was a coincidence. No, it wasn't. That it's honestly, it was very obvious because if you're really trying to get people to watch Miss Universe Mexico, you're trying to get people to watch the girls, you stagger their IG lives. You don't make them go all live at once because you're splitting the audience. I'm well aware of how things work. That was orchestrated. And like, <sighs> all of this is just dumb. It's dumb because honestly, once again, Lupita, you're making yourself and your own organization look dumb because if you have such an issue with the with Sophia, she's the queen you crowned. So if you're saying, oh, I knew all this about her, why'd you crown her? She wasn't so bad that you weren't willing to crown her. So if she's the one sitting on the, on the throne, have a little bit of decorum, have a little bit of class, have a little bit of decency, loyalty, and trustworthiness, and have the back of your queen. Because it's not even just the fact that she's up here trashing Sophia. Sophia's been saying that, and other queens have been saying that she's a largely very unsupportive director, which I believed to begin with because I'm not going to not believe multiple queens when they say something. I'm not that type of person. If the queen says something, you got multiple queens coming out against you, there's a problem. There's a problem. But then Lupita's over here saying like, oh, I paid for her surgeries and I paid for her liposuction. And that, that one thing caught me too, okay? That caught me. I, you know, don't really care what women do in their free time and their personal lives when it comes to their body. Girl, have your surgeries and do whatever the heck you want. There's a bit of a difference when it comes to a Miss Universe competition, especially when it's based on confidence. Now, there's a discussion to be had when it comes to plastic surgeries, but liposuction itself actually does bother me. That one does bother me because that's a lazy surgery. Liposuction, I, and queens, I know you get it, okay? I want you to know that liposuction is a lazy surgery. Go to the gym, go to the gym, eat properly. Liposuction is an unnecessary surgery, but I was just like, for Lupita, I mean, if you, if you thought something was wrong with your queen, once again, why did you crown her? Why, why are you putting this on blast? Why are you saying these things? And this is one reason, especially as a fitness competitor, you guys know I'm a fitness competitor or was until this whole COVID thing. Um, but as a fitness competitor, I give props for women when I can tell that they worked for their bodies, that they went to the gym. Now you guys really understand why I'm hard pressed for actual fitness, not just being thin, because anybody can be thin and damn sure you can cheat and be thin. I Yeah, I'm not for the liposuction. Don't be lazy ladies, go to the gym, okay? This was a disgusting display of classless behavior from a fallen queen. And 
I'm happy I get to be the one to hop on YouTube and tell everybody about it because the days of people mistreating pageant queens or the pageant community in general is done. No matter what type of content I bring to my channel in the future, because you guys know I'm gonna keep you happy and entertained and we will go through many journeys together, there will always be pageant content and I will always be willing to ride through the streets dragging somebody on the back of my horse who dares to disrespect the pageant queens or organizations or community that I love. Lupita, somebody fire her. Somebody fire her. You deserve to be fired, okay? Paula Shugart's not gonna do it, but the fans surely as hell will. Somebody, get get her out, get her out. This is traitor behavior and damn well in my court, I would have you executed, Lupita. In the comments section below, let me know your thoughts on this situation. I, I don't think I know anyone in my court who would be like, oh, this is not a big deal. Like, I'm pretty sure we all can agree that this is like not even over the line. This is out of this world, okay? But in the comment section below, let me know what you think. If you have any more information that we are not privy to, keep us updated, join the kingdom. You know, I'm in there all the time and you can just let us know what's going on. Hit me on Instagram, hit me on Twitter. I am available and Sophia, Girl, you were an amazing queen, okay? And you did not deserve this. You didn't, oh, you didn't. Memories and love to Sophia for dealing with this director. Appalling behavior. I am so sorry you had to be subject to this, Sophia, because you made Mexico proud. Yes, you did, queen. You made Mexico proud. All love to Sophia. Oh, goodness. Give the video a thumbs up, and I will see you guys later. <laughs> I love you, I'll miss you, but you know I will be back in a future video. Bye.